Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Richie from Hillside Acres. Um, today I got something new from Woodbury Metalworks, Chris and Matt. Uh, I'm really excited about this. They did a really nice job with this. Um, I know I did the video on the loader mounted ammo can holder, which is still a really th nice handy thing to have, but those are more specific per tractor. Um, what they've come up with now is a ROPS mounted ammo can holder that's fully adjustable, it could fit any tractor, you could put it on your zero, turn anything with a ROPS or a piece of square stock, you'll be able to get it on there. With this, as you can see, it's fully adjustable. You can slide it front to back, different size. If you need to tilt it, want to put it on an angle, you could do that. Also where the can itself goes on, that one's a little tight on there. I'll show you, fully adjustable. Where you want to mount the can, these are slotted. So you can put the can wherever you need to. If you want to put it more inner, more outer, it also depends on where you want to drill the holes in your can. And another really neat feature I really like about this, I'm always looking for pins. And what they did on the inside part of the ROPS, put different size holes in there. So I'll do a demonstration. The only hitch pin I have on me right now, I'm in the house and everything else is at the farm. You just drop your hitch pins in there and you got storage for your hitch pins. So now these are going to be for sale, but what I also wanted to do is we just crossed 1000 subscribers and we're currently under review through YouTube or Google or whatever to officially be monetized. And I want to do some type of giveaway. I didn't want to do a giveaway before that because the people watching my channel, I want them to watch it because they want to watch it, not because they weren't looking to get something for free. So I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to either give away one of these. I mean, I, I don't know how I'm going to pick it. I want to do a, a random comment on this video. So all you have to do to enter is comment on this video, something, what you think, where you're from, uh, what you did today. I don't care. I'll pick it through that. And I'm also going to pick, uh, there's been a lot of channels that have given us a lot of support along the way. So I'm going to pick one or two of them at random and uh, I'm going to find something to, to give to them. And I just want to give away just to say thanks for the support. And uh, it's been a long journey. It's been, I think, four or five months and, you know, shorter than most, I guess, to get monetized. But we're really looking forward to what's to come. So Chris and Matt from Woodbury Metalworks, they can make you the loader mounted ammo can holders. They can make you the ammo, the ROPS ammo cans like this if you have a channel and you want a CNC cut, uh, plasma cut sign for your channel, we could do that. So feel free to reach out if you end up being the winner and we'll work something out. I just want to give something back. So as far as where to mount this on the L2501, I can mount it up here or even on here and put it on the angle so the can will stick out there. But I'm kind of thinking right in here, I do have the Husky steel box that fits in there, but in order for me to use the three point post digger, which uh, I don't really like using anyway, but maybe I'll put it here. I'm not sure yet. So after quite a bit, I put the can on here and made kind of made a little mock up so I could decide where I want it. Um, I was having it over there and decided to get on, but I thought it might get in the way. So I'm gonna put it on a 45 mounted on this side. Um, it'll be out of the way. But since this pivots, I could actually mount it on the 45 part of the ROPS and have the can still sit level. Um, I might slide the can to the back to get me a little bit more clearance, but I'm going to set it up and uh, it just bolts right on. All right, so I got the can installed where I wanted it. I made the mock up and put it in all sorts of different spots. I couldn't make up my mind. I, I still don't know if this is where I'm going to keep it for good or what I'm going to do. But there's a lot of different things you could do with this. I was thinking you could even put like a speaker in the thing. You could line it with, with some insulation and make it a little cooler or something. Um, it doesn't have to be an ammo can on there either. Um, I was thinking you could even put one on each side or something and put a large toolbox going across there, or a basket for a chainsaw. Just endless. Um, this is it up here. As you can see, you could tilt it this way. Uh, you could slide it in and out there, and you could tilt it that way as well. Um, I don't know if it's perfectly level right now, but it's good enough for me. That's all I need. Um, as you can see, you got a couple pins stored in there. You know, they're just storing with gravity. And 
just a nice convenient place to keep them. It's just uh, non-wasted space. Um, luckily I did, since I'm in the garage now, I normally never fold the ROPs down for anything, but I almost drove right on in here with the ROPs up. So once again, another thing is the uh, loader mounted uh, ammo can holder, which this just sits on the loader tube and the U-bolt comes right up and it goes right into your ammo can. That's another thing they have for sale. I'll uh, try and get a copy of the card up in this video if I can figure out how to do that. Or uh, I'll definitely put a, uh, the contact info in the description of this video. I'm not sure if they got their website up and running yet. Hopefully they do, because that would make things a lot easier. So everybody, like I said before, we're doing a giveaway and uh, we're not looking to you know, bump ourselves up or get people to watch. It's kind of giving back to everybody that's already been watching. I don't know how I'm going to do the random picker, but all you got to do is comment on this video. And then uh, once you comment, I'll reach out to you and comment back. I'll tell you my email or something and uh, we'll figure out how to get into contact and I'll do something for you. I mean, that's just what I'm looking to do. Just give back. So if you like this video and you're not subscribed, Hit the subscribe button if you don't mind. It's free and it'll help us out. But uh, at this point, we really just hit the 1,000 subscriber milestone. So we're super excited about that and looking forward to uh, what the future has to offer. So have a good one, everybody. Thanks.